Hi guys, today is the 2nd of December. Oh wait, no it's not. <laughs> it's the 2nd of February. Oops. It's um, like 10 o'clock at night. Everyone's sleeping, all the kids are sleeping. And we're up late. We're up, cause we, I don't know, I just did a live stream. And yeah, I just wanted to say that we are a week. Oh, what is it up? Um, <laughs> a week away from the release of my new single, One in a Million, and it comes out literally a week from today. Well, since it's, I don't know when this video is gonna be up. Either today or tomorrow, but in a week or less, One in a Million is gonna be out on iTunes and Spotify, February 9th, 2018. And I hope you're excited. But you wanna know what's even more exciting? Is that if you haven't heard it, here's a little sneak peek. Hi everyone. I hope you all are as excited as I am for my first new single to drop on February 9th, 2018 called One in a Million. <laughs> so it'll be on iTunes and Spotify everywhere. So get ready. I never knew about love until I found you. I hope you like that. That's all you get to hear until it comes out, and then you can con uh, not <laughs> you can purchase the song. So yeah, that is exciting. But I wanted to say thank you to every. Um, okay. I want to say thank you to everyone who joined my live stream. We had, well, I had over 40,000 people in my live stream on Lively, which was really exciting. So I'm looking forward to you guys uh, giving me feedback on my single. I hope you guys like it. And it was a really fun live stream. I liked it a lot. So thank you for joining. And let me know down in the comments below if you're going to purchase the song and what you think of it from what you've heard. And what you think it's about. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Yeah. And now um, I'm going to put this on into another clip of the video or whatever. Just keep watching. I wish I was able to sing. I wish I could do that, Brianna. I wish I had the same kind of talent you had. He can paint. I don't know. I just started singing when I was little. <laughs> I, I could not. <laughs> not saying I can sing. Because everyone's like, you know, critical of themselves. But when I was younger, I could not sing at all. I couldn't sing. I really, really couldn't sing. And so, yeah, I couldn't sing. <laughs> and I sounded terrible, and I thought I could, but I couldn't. And so I was younger, so my voice was really, really screechy. It was, it was ear deafening. I don't know. I I don't think you gave yourself enough credit. When I was younger, you did not hear it, okay? Yeah. It was bad. Oh, come on. When I was like seven, it was really bad. I don't know. I thought you were singing. With, with... When I was seven, we, it's okay. You don't have to be like, oh, no, it was good. When I was seven, it was bad. I bet you there's probably a video of me like seven years old singing. Oh, no. Because I what? remember Delaney and I used to sing all the time when we were like seven yeah. and eight. We used to do it all the time. And I just had it <laughs> so bad. I'm pretty sure there's videos of me singing. I'm trying to find the Lively app. Oh. I don't know. Oh, that's right. You're doing that Lively. Mm hmm Oh, boy. I don't know. Good luck with that. I go through comments. I like how I look at comments and I see so many <laughs> nice comments and positive comments. And then there's like that one negative comment and I just focus on that out of everything. Because I've, I've seen two comments on the um, video I posted about my teaser. Which, um, there's going to be another teaser. So, yeah. There was like negative comments. Somebody was like, your hair is way too long. You need to get it cut. And then somebody was like, if it's her hair, she can do whatever she wants. And they're like, no, it's it's uh, unreasonably long. People have preferences. And I prefer to keep my hair long. And I like having my hair long. So, don't tell somebody that they need to cut their hair. Because it's not your hair and you don't need to worry about it. Okay? I'm very supportive of what Brianna's doing with this whole singing thing, so, you know, this is a good reason to grab a camera 
I don't, you don't mind me grabbing cameras. <laughs> no. So that's why I'm doing that. It's, uh, what is it? It's pretty late. The kids are already like unwinding. So it's like just about their bedtime. So I'm going to go down there and check on them in a minute, but they're, they're all getting ready for bed. And Brianna's doing this, uh, getting ready to do a live stream to uh, promote the, the music, right? Your music? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's training. what Brianna's doing, so. Just setting things up. She's setting things up. So I came in here just to check on her to see what's happening. And, and you're making a mess! Spills tea. Um, so this is a story time. I've never done one before. So I might have some jump cuts or, you know, like zoom, 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 because story times can be boring. But this story time, I'm going to try not to say the repeats of words. This story time is about... A crush. This is gonna be so so awkward if he ever sees this. Please don't ever watch this video. If you know exactly who you are, crush, if you know who you are and you watch this video, I would stop watching this video because it's gonna make everything awkward. <laughs> er. Okay, so let's start this story time. Okay, so <clears throat> there was this guy that I, I'm not gonna, oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna start this. This, the heck? Okay, so we're gonna start the story off with everything. So there's this guy, and I'm not gonna mention his name, but we're gonna call him Skater Boy. You know, like, he was a skater boy, she says, yeah, that song by Avril Lavigne. Well, we're gonna call him Skater Boy. I think Skater Boy's cute, and I see Skater Boy a lot. So I think he's really cute, and of course, since I know he knows one of my friends, I was like asking her about him and she was telling me about him. And so I was like, this is cool. Like she knows him. If she knows him, then maybe he'd want to get to know me because, you know, she knows me and he knows her. So that would just click. So I, you know, found his social media because I knew his name and she told me his social media so I went on his social media and I was like, you know, the first thing a girl does when they think a guy is cute is they, s no, I don't want to say stalk because that seems creepy. Like you go through their social media and see what they're like. Yeah, you do that. You see what they're like and if they are like, uh, I guess, a guy that just uses girls or if they had a girlfriend. So I did that and I was like, you know, he seems like a, a nice guy. So yeah, that was part of it. Oh, anyways, so after weeks, I finally woke up the nerves to talk to him. And so then there was like small conversations, literally like these smallest conversations. And I was like freaking out about it. And now I think like, why the heck did I freak out about it? He's literally a person. Just because he's cute doesn't change anything. He's just a person. <laughs> it was just weird. But after weeks, I finally worked up the guts to, to tell him that I think he's cute. And mind you, I have never, ever, ever in my life told a guy that I think they're cute, especially to their face. Unless I was like actually talking to somebody and we both like each other, I'd be like, oh my God, you're so cute. But like, I have never told a guy to their face blatantly, I think you're cute. So that was a big deal for me, <laughs> especially since I'm like half social, half antisocial. I don't know, I just, not really antisocial, I'm just socially awkward. And I'm working out of it, I'm, I'm not that much anymore, I'm getting out of that phase. But it was just such a big thing for me because I had never ever in my life told a guy that I thought he was cute. It was just so scary and I, did, I was thinking about it and I'm like, holy crap, I can't do this, holy crap, I can't do this. And I finally did it and my heart was pounding like crap and he just smiled at me and I was like, okay, geez, okay, I told him, great. So then I wanted to know if he'd ever be interested in talking to me, not like the flirting type talking to me. Like I just wanted to know genuinely if he'd be interested in talking to me because you don't really want to waste your time on a friendship or any type of relationship. If it's if you know it's going to be a waste of time, then don't waste your time on it. And I don't want to force a relationship. I mean, not relationship, a friendship on someone. So I genuinely was like, are you going to be interested in ever talking to me? And I'm pretty sure he took that in like a different way, but he friend zoned me, but literally all I was asking for was to be friends. That's that. And I haven't seen him since. So if I see him, it's going to be very awkward. So yay me. 
and I really don't feel like having to explain myself because I never I never clarified with him like, oh, I didn't mean it that way. I'm sorry you took it that way. But I really don't feel like I need to explain myself because it's not my fault he took it that way. That's just how his mind is. So, so I don't Anyways, yeah, that's a little story time about the time I told the guy that I think is cute that he's cute um, and got friend zoned. Yeah, it's not that interesting, but uh, it makes for content, so like the video. <laughs> um, anyways, comment down below if you have ever told your crush that you think they're cute and if you've ever gotten friend zoned. And besides, I'm fine with being friend zoned. I don't care. It doesn't suck. At least he might actually want to be friends. We don't know until we find out. But if you, what, well, you're not really, I don't know. Would they still be my crush if I got friends? Nah, I don't know. We'll find out. Anyways, I hope you didn't watch this. But if you did, I hope you realize that I'm not explaining to you why. Never mind. Anyways, <laughs> thank you for watching. There's probably going to be a lot of like cuts and jump cuts in this. So it's not boring. And I'm pretty sure it's not that interesting. But like I said, comment down below if you've ever told your crush that you think that they're cute and if you've ever been friend zoned and also comment down below what kind of content you want because I'm making everything a wide variety for everything. So there's going to be pranks, maybe some challenges, um, more story times. I actually have a lot of other story times and I can pull up screenshots and everything from stuff. Beef. Whew, just kidding. Um, but just, yeah, just let me know and maybe makeup. You know, I haven't done that in a while. Actually, I've never done a makeup video. I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, comment down below, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you want me to do with the channel, like video-wise, because I really need some ideas, and I'm not really good at um, coming up with ideas. I mean, I never mind. Yeah, I can kind of be. But anyways, yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. But there was actually one thing I was supposed to say, and I completely forgot it. Oh, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, so this video is not over yet. Here are some behind the scenes clips from my live stream that I did with over 40,000 of you amazing people who are absolutely the best fans in the world. Thank you for joining that live stream, by the way. And thank you for watching this video. If you made it to the end of this video, give it a big like. And yeah, show some love to my social media accounts my Musical.ly, and my Instagram. I love you guys, and here is the behind the scenes clips. Oh my God, I haven't done this in so long. No one's gonna come in here. No one's gonna come in here. No. Hi guys. Oh my God, this is so <laughs> weird. Like this live stream up. Like it up, 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 till your thumbs fall off. Like it up, like it up, like it up. Thank you for the panda. Okay guys, so there's a lot of people in here, so I'll start talking about it. So. As most of you know, I have a single coming out and I was working on it with my manager and everybody. I'm super, super, super excited. And it's coming out, oh frick, what's today? <laughs> oh, here we go, what's today? It's coming out, I think it's <laughs> seven days. I'm pretty sure it's seven days, right? Oh my God. <laughs> right? Yeah, seven days. So I think it's, fr it's a Friday, wait. What? It's a week. Oh my gosh. It's a week. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's a week. It's a week and it will be on iTunes and Spotify. So yeah. Get ready for that. I'm super, super, super excited. Like I wanna keep saying that because I'm very excited. Um but yeah, it's a cute song. It's called One in a Million and it can really be you you'll just have to wait to hear it to figure out like the meaning and everything. I'm not going to talk about it, but it, it's a meaningful song, so just stay tuned and, you know, get your iTunes gift cards ready. Be super, super prepared for it. Um, are you going to make more songs? We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm going to listen to it every day. You are so sweet. Thank you for the love bang. Wait, I want to see this. <laughs> Wow, you guys are sending me things. This is so cool. Um, can you sing for us? I will do it in a little bit. 
I gotta get my voice refreshed and everything. I was outside walking and stuff, and then I was exercising. Is your dad is your dad proud? Is what someone said. Very proud. That's why I'm grabbing the camera, which I haven't like, like I said, I just haven't. I actually, I'm, I'm able to say it. I got on that side. I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna tell them something. Yeah. The good thing is having such a supportive i'm gonna cry <laughs> i don't want to cry um who i can't every time i get all sappy there's okay mm. hold on hold up i don't want to cry um um <clears throat> who can you say something exciting <laughs> i mean happy so i don't cry or something um is having a supportive fan base and it's just, oh, okay. Whew, I forgot, I lost track. No, I didn't, okay. The upside is having a supportive fan base and people that are either there to stick up for me and people that I know genuinely will be there for me for through everything. And I wanna say thank you because if I didn't have you guys as an audience, then I wouldn't be making music because I would have no one to sing to. I wouldn't be making music if I didn't have you guys. So I want to say thank you. And I really, I can't wait for you guys to hear it. You're going to love it. <laughs> I'm, I'm very excited. Key with the paintbrush. Everybody go give him some love. Go follow him. Go give him some love. I can't speak, but... <sighs> yes, I remember you. A little... Oh, wait, is my phone... I'm making sure my... I know. It's, it's, it's like, I know? I'm surprised it's okay. working with this, with it cracked and everything. You should make more songs. We'll see. Um, yeah, I cracked my phone. And I'm surprised I can read the comments on here. <laughs> it's really cracked. And it keeps dying at 90%. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just super excited. Uh, my song's called One in a Million. And I just can't wait for you guys to hear it. It's exciting. It's a week away. A week. Oh my gosh. 666 people. And I was singing <laughs> about the devil. Don't, don't you dare look the devil. Oh my god, that's so weird. <laughs> that oh is, my that's gosh. That's crazy. Oh man. Uh, the climb? Oh. What? Someone said to do the climb. Oh. There's literally. Call 66. Can we, can we call 666 with your phone? My Really? Just I'm kind of nervous. I'm just about scared. That. Yeah. But I like. I got. I don't know. I've been in. I'm not the type of person to scab. Twenty thousand people. Hi. Brianna's upstairs, just uh, doing lively, and I was just down here checking on the kids, and I just went outside to see how nice it is. And it's about in the forties out here, but uh, I'm very proud of Brianna. It's amazing how she's come with her singing. Her voice is amazing. Just being her, being her, is just amazing. And uh, I'm very supportive, and that's why I grabbed this camera, guys. I normally don't grab the camera because, like I said, I quit YouTube and stuff, but. This is something I really had to grab the camera for and just to show my support and express how proud I am of Brianna. So doing it now and I'm gonna go upstairs and Brianna wants to record something. So she's gonna put something on YouTube which is gonna be on the All For Tube Kids channel which is basically probably where this is gonna be. But you guys are amazing and I am just so happy for Brianna. And I'm gonna go upstairs I'm getting the kids to bed and went upstairs and uh, give Brianna this camera because she wants to talk to you guys. All right. I just went outside, Brianna. Thank you for the gifts. All right, I checked on the kids. They were okay. They're, they're tired. So I went outside and uh, I went outside and shared a few words with everybody. So I told up here to give you the camera when, so when you're done with the lively. Because okay. you guys needed to hear what I had to say. It was just amazing. And super proud of Brianna. So... Putting the camera down, the camera's Brianna's now. I'm going downstairs tending the kids. And so that's gonna be it for me for the rest of the night, basically. Hi, Diana, it's Jayla. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the best content in the world. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. Wait, you uh, should post every Tuesdays and Thursdays all, on YouTube. They're channel. all asleep and I'm just like, um, I come up here to be supportive of Brianna now, right? I actually, <laughs> oh yeah. I'm, okay, let me move. <laughs> oh, back up. Okay, so. I have a strict schedule every day, literally. It's wake up, eat breakfast, do school, exercise, sit down, 
do some more school, get up, exercise, watch YouTube, exercise <laughs> while watching YouTube. Yeah. I have to get at least 30,000 steps a day. There's literally oh gosh, kids. 30,000 steps there's now. There's kids that get 60,000. And I, what? 18,000 people are in here. Holy Jesus. I hope you're getting, I hope you're getting my single. You should totally get it. All right, I want to play a song, um, but it's probably going to have bad words in it. Bad I words? What? <laughs> Seriously. I will not break. Yeah. <gasps> Say goodbye as we dance with the devil tonight. I like that song. <laughs> Does anyone know that song? Why are you so amazing? Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You're just a really good manager. That's, that's, I'm just kidding. What? Um, you were talking to the manager? Yeah. Oh. Kid with a paintbrush. You are, a, you are a good manager. Say goodbye as we dance with the devil tonight. I love that song. I'm gonna keep saying that. I hear like Brianna singing everywhere in the house, right? There isn't a place in the house that I don't hear singing, or a place anywhere, basically, which is a good thing, because uh, she's got a real good voice, <laughs> so, you know? You learn to love yourself. Right, you got a lot of people on here. I know, 30,000 people! I'm looking at right here. Oh, Austin, answer the question. <laughs> Who's your favorite YouTuber? We already know who that is. Actually, probably don't, but it's Shane Dawson's king. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> let me love you, let me love you, baby. That is cool. I like that. Oh. Look, it's two Briannas. <laughs> Three. <laughs> that was so delayed. What the heck? I know. I don't know what Ace Family is. Annie LeBlanc, I love her so much. Literally, I think it was in 2015, or maybe it was, two, no, it was 2016, yeah. or it was 2017. I don't remember. One of the years we were going through YouTube subscription stuff, and we saw, I don't know, I was just, you know, curious because when we were younger, like, I'm pretty sure we had talked, we reached, I don't know, we had talked to Bertaley before, like, years, many a years ago when, like, they started out on YouTube. And so I was like, what if they still remember us? And we were going through the stuff to see if they were subscribed or anything, and Annie's channel was subscribed, and I literally started freaking out. Um, and Sophia Grace, she was subscribed, and somebody else. I don't know. Oh my God, Jada Facer? Fr <laughs> ah! I was literally living. I was, that was so The craziest one was Bieber, like when he had his personal I channel. I know. <laughs> Freaking Bieber. Before he became like popular. Justin Bieber was like our homeboy. <laughs> I, I, I'm not making this up. I'm not. I'm not making this up. I swear. How old was I? I don't know. This is like he, this is before he started. This is when he was like playing, like singing in the mirror and stuff. That was like back then when he subscribed. That was before he started putting out like stuff. I'm so young. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, I'm. It makes me sad. Hmm. Um, but yeah, so crazy it was the first time I'm pretty sure it was Justin Bieber that was like anything before he was, before he blew up. Yeah. Um, oh, wait, <laughs> I shouldn't <laughs> say that. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, before that, and then I found out about Sophia Grace and Annie LeBlanc, Jada Facer, and someone else. And I was, I was freaking out. I was so excited. I was like, these people... They're amazing people. <laughs> they know me. 